Welcome to the He's Got Issues Marvel Comics Edition number 28. I'm John Cooney here to preview new Marvel Comics being released September 4th, 2013, beginning alphabetically with all new X-Men number 16, Battle of the Atom part 2, Wolverine vs. Future X-Men, Young Scott Summers and Jean Grey run away to stay in the present day. Next, we've got Avengers AI number 3, Experience the Diamond, a surreal new world of artificial intelligence. The Vision is trapped within this virtual realm, but is he prisoner or savior? And you, how many times have you looked at your phone today? What are you to the device in your life, prisoner or savior? Prepare yourself for the kingdom of thinking machines. We've also got Avengers Endless Wartime Hardcover, the first in a series of all-new original graphic novels. An abomination long thought buried has resurfaced in a war-torn land, but now it wears an American flag. Faced with another nightmare reborn, Captain America will not stand for yet more death at the hands of a ghost from his past. Haunted by his greatest shame, Thor must renew the hunt for a familiar beast. At their side, an assemblage of allies united to end the threats no one of them could face alone. They are soldiers, warriors, comrades in arms, mighty heroes led by a living legend stronger together than apart. They are the Avengers. We've also got Daredevil Dark Knights number 4 of 8. The man without fierce life gets a voltage of violence from the shocker. Matt Murdock must track a fugitive to protect his innocent client, while New York City and the Avengers must confront some massive monster mayhem. David Lapham returns to the gritty streets of the mighty Marvel U in What a Day, What a Night, Part 1. Next, we've got Deadpool kills Deadpool number 3 of 4. When Deadpool targets Deadpool, only Deadpool can win. And you, I guess, because you get to read it, may contain the death of your favorite character, depending on how you feel about Deadpool. We've also got Dexter number 3 of 5. Miami's leading forensic blood splatter expert Dexter is a cut above the rest, and in his spare time, he's cutting up bad guys. Dexter's dark passenger is burning for revenge after Dexter and his sister Deborah are nearly torched by a Molotov cocktail. Just when the trail heats up to catch Miami's Skid Row Slasher, one suspect turns up stone cold dead. Dexter catches a break by doing some stealthy breaking and entering, but he may be the one who ends up being caught. Next, we've got Emerald City of Oz, number 3 of 5. General Guff persuades the most evil race alive, the shape-shifting phantasm of Mount Fantastico, to join the Gnome Army. Have the gnomes bitten off more than they can chew? Meanwhile, unaware of the danger to Oz, Dorothy, Aunt Em, and Uncle Henry continue sightseeing. They put together living puzzles, suffer abuse from living kitchen utensils, and duel over living baked goods. We've also got Infinity, number 2 of 6. The Inhumans pay the tribute. Victory in Deep Space, The Secrets of Thanos. Next, we've got Iron Man number 15. More mind-blowing revelations as the secret origin of Tony Stark continues. 451 vs. Tony Stark, The Final Battle. 451 vs. Tony Stark, The Final Team-Up. And then it all goes wrong. We've also got Once Upon a Time, Shadow of the Queen, hardcover, premiere edition. The evil queen has quite literally captured the huntsman's heart, and now he's her slave. Based on the world of ABC's hit primetime series Once Upon a Time, this is the never-before-told tale behind their twisted relationship. And what happens when a good man is forced to do bad? When Regina cooks up yet another devious plan to capture Snow White, this time by allying with a pack of power-hungry werewolves, the huntsman comes face-to-face -face with his past and an independent spirit in Red Riding Hood that just may match his own. Can these two break free of the forces that bind them and save Snow White? When put to the test, where will the huntsman's loyalties lie? Has the evil queen stolen his heart in more ways than one? Next, we've got Superior Foes of Spider-Man number 3, with the same solicit as last month. With superior villains come superior problems as the year's sleeper hit continues. Out of bail and aiming to stay out of jail, Boomerang must get his cronies on target. But does the Punisher have them targeted already? Nick Spencer of the Avengers and Steve Lieber of Hawkeye continue this most evil exploration into the Marvel U. We've also got Superior Spider-Man number 17. He's back because you loudly demanded it. The return of Spidey 2099. And an Osborne you have not seen in a while. We've also got Takio number 4. The sisters are reunited and just in time because the secret of their one-of-a-kind superpowers is about to be revealed. Another shocker of a chapter in this all-ages superhero extravaganza from the award-winning creators of Powers. Next, we've got Venom number 40. Marvel's newest symbiote-powered character, Mania, is on the loose. But is she a hero or a villain? And who killed Damon Hellstorm? We've also got X-Factor number 262, the end of X-Factor. Next, we've got X-Men Battle of the Atom number 1 of 2. 
The past, present, and future of the X-Men collide in this 50th anniversary event crossover. When investigating a new mutant, something truly horrible happens to the all-new X-Men that shakes time and space to its core. This is so dire that X-Men come from the future with a message. The all-new X-Men must return to the past. The 10-part crossover starts here with superstars Brian Michael Bendis and Frank Cho. And we've got X-Men Legacy number 16. David teams up with Blindfold to confront the man who killed his father. But Cyclops isn't about to take their attack lying down. Can the son Xavier neglected and the man he adopted as his protege find common ground? Or does the river of resentment between these two brothers run too deep? Out in trades this week, we've got the Age of Ultron hardcover. For years, the Marvel Universe has lived in fear that the artificial intelligence known as Ultron would one day wipe out all organic life and take over the Earth. That day has arrived. The impossible has happened, and Ultron rules the planet. As the few superhero survivors who remain try desperately to stay alive, Luke Cage learns the staggering secret of Ultron's victory. And when a near-broken Captain America leads a ragtag counterattack, Wolverine makes a controversial and desperate decision, one that creates a new Marvel Universe and inadvertently brings a horrific disaster with it. With one final chance, can the heroes fix everything and defeat Ultron? Collects Age of Ultron number 1 through 10 and 10 AI. Avengers Assemble 14 AU and 15 AU. Fantastic 4 number 5 AU. Fearless Defenders number 4 AU. Superior Spider-Man number 6 AU. Ultron number 1 AU. Uncanny Avengers number 8 AU. And Wolverine and the X-Men number 27 AU. Alright, next we've got Ender's Game graphic novel trade paperback. Andrew Ender Wigan is six years old, bullied, resented, and alone, and he might be humanity's only hope. Ender is recruited to the International Fleet's Child Warriors in Training to fight in defense of the planet. His promise is high, and his teachers are sure that he'll rise to the test if battle school doesn't kill him first. As young Ender rises through the ranks, he struggles to find tranquility, humanity, and a connection with something greater than the brutal mechanics of war and strategy. But when he is thrust into command school at a vastly accelerated pace, will he crack up on the road to becoming the hero that the human race so desperately needs? Sci-fi legend Orson Scott Card's award-winning classic is brought to life. Collects Ender's Game Battle School number 1 through 5 and Ender's Game Command School number 1 through 5. We've also got Infinity Gauntlet Aftermath trade paperback. Jim Starlin's Infinity Saga continues here. After defeating Thanos, Adam Warlock won possession of the Infinity Gauntlet, an absolute power. Can the most powerful being in the universe be convinced to give up the gauntlet? And who can be trusted with even a portion of its awesome abilities? Meanwhile, the Silver Surfer races to destroy Thanos' shrine to death, but first he must contend with Collector, one-time owner of the Infinity Gem, and face his darkest fears. Plus, discover the fate of Thanos' daughter, Nebula. Don't miss the stories bridging Infinity Gauntlet and Infinity War, guest starring the original Captain Marvel, Doctor Strange, Thor, the Inhumans, and an army of cosmic forces. Collect Silver Surfer number 60 to 66, Doctor Strange Sorcerer Supreme number 36, Warlock and the Infinity Watch number 1 through 6, and material from Silver Surfer Annual number 5. And we've got Nova Volume 1 Origin Hardcover, Premier Edition, The New Human Rocket Returns. Sam Alexander is a kid bound by the gravity of a small town, and a father whose ridiculous drunken fairy tales about the Nova Corps were just another heavy burden. But lucky for Sam, gravity soon won't even matter, and those troubles will be a billion miles away. It's a boy, a helmet, and an intergalactic legacy. As Sam trains with the Guardians of the Galaxy's Gamora and Rocket Raccoon, the helmet leads Nova into an intergalactic conflict that will affect the entire Marvel Universe. Mysteries are revealed in this breathtaking new series by best-selling award-winning team of Jeff Loeb and Ed McGuinness. Collecting Nova number 1 through 5 and material from Marvel Now Point 1 number 1. Okay, so that's it for Marvel this week, but there's still plenty of other books out as well, so be sure to check out my YouTube channel at He's Got Issues dot com to see both the DC and Indies videos for this week, as well as my featured video with the usual roundup of all my favorites for the week, with a little more depth and insight than you get here. And if you like these videos, be sure to let me know by leaving a comment and subscribing. You can also follow He's Got Issues on Facebook, Twitter, Pinterest, and Tumblr to see everything I'm reading as I read it. So until next week, I'm John Cooney, and I've got issues.